So Gary, another frustrating after, uh, evening for our hence for the game, but much improved performance in Blythe, what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, so definitely. Um, tonight's performance was so much better than Blythe. Um, at least we competed today, and I think if we would have come away today um, with a point, um, I think nobody could have complained about today. Well, you were the two goals really like sucker punches because really in the first half, before the first goal, it was there wasn't too much in between the two sides, was there? No, definitely. The disappointing thing again tonight is that we've obviously conceded from one long ball, um, the first goal especially, um, and they haven't really had to to create anything apart from um, that one what that one chance that went in behind. And unfortunately for us, they've, they've ended up putting it in the back of the net again. Um, the second one was against the runner play again, but again, we we need to defend better than that. It's individual errors at the moment that are costing us. And this is what I've just said to the group of players in there today. I can't I can't fault their effort commitment, the desire today um, to, to get something out of the game. It's just at the moment, every individual error that our, our players make at the moment, we're getting punished for. Well, for the first goal, Darren Crane came out again like he did against Blythe for probably two of the five goals. Mm. Is that something you talked to him about, how, helping him improve his judgment? Coming out, oh, definitely. Dan, listen, Dan Crane's experienced enough to to know when he should be coming um, and when he should be coming to help his defenders and when he shouldn't be coming. Um, the problem we have at the moment is is that against the run of play, um, we, I thought we exposed ourselves a little bit too much for the first goal in terms of our endeavour to go and attack them. We committed too many bodies forward, and like I say, one ball in behind, um, a little bit of a mix up between Dan Crane and, and the centre half, and it allows their, their their, their other centre forward with a tap in. Do you hint at the minute just lack a bit of final quality in the final third with crosses, passing and, and, and getting shooting? Well, yeah, but uh, listen, uh, we, we we scored up up at Blythe with Vinny a, a great a great header, and when we when we create chances, we, we're our most dangerous when we put the ball in the box, especially when we've got Vinny in there. Um, but yeah, it's something we spoke about at great length that we have to be better in the final third. Um, our passing needs to be sharper, our movement needs to be sharper, and we need to finish with an end product. And that, I think that's all we lack tonight, really, is the end product yet again. But I can't listen, I can't fault the lads um, fight their endeavour throughout the period of the game. It's just that in periods where you are on top, we, we need to take our chances. Who do you say was a star man for Henson tonight? Listen, I, I, I don't want to stand here and, and pick anybody out of tonight's performance really because we're a group of players at the moment where we're trying to keep the confidence levels high. Um, you know, we're on a runner form at the moment that's not great. Um, but like I say, every person that put a shirt on for us tonight, I think whoever was here watching can safely say that they give the rule for Hensford Town tonight. Let's just talk a bit about the Blythe game. Were, were Hensford doubt a football and lesson by Blythe? The passing, the movement, the just bit better than Hensford, a lot better than Hensford. Well, certainly, listen, but we knew Blythe's strengths and that was um, Blythe attacking ability in their final third. They were ve they're very sharp, they're very lively, uh, they don't stand still and it caused us all sorts of problems all afternoon. Um, you know, but in, in periods of the game where we get ourselves back to 2-1, um, you're looking at then realistically for another period in there, 15, 20 minutes, you've just got to keep it nice and tight. But unfortunately, the game was that stretched um, that Blythe was, was able to take advantage of that. And listen, Blythe have got quality players. They're the best attacking team that I've seen in this division so far. So let's not take anything away from the lads. We were bitterly disappointed with the, the result up there. And of course, um, but Blythe... Blythe um, are, are definitely one of the best teams in this league. Are Blythe something that Hensford can aspire to in the future, do you believe? And maybe not, not for this season, but for the next season? Well, I, I, I said to the lads after the game, Blythe, I said, listen, if we take anything out of today's game, we take the way Blythe took the game to us in their, in our, in their final third and our defensive third, because that's what I strive for out of our team. We've got, we've got the characters to do it. We've, we just need the belief. Um, have we got the ability? Yes, I, d I believe we have got the ability to play that attack attacking football um, like Blythe played, but it's just having a little bit of confidence and trusting trusting what you're doing out on the pitch, and and that that comes from training hard. Again, we'll train hard on Thursday. We'll do some attacking work, um, and we'll do some defensive work. And we, listen, we have to go again. It's a massive game for us now. We put Sc uh, at home against Scales Medale, um, and uh, and listen, there's no easy games at this level of football. So we'll be prepared. Be preparing properly for that game, and uh, hopefully we can we can get our 
our season back on track. Finally, you go talking about the scales of their game. They haven't won away all season. They might be coming to Key Spark thinking this is the perfect opportunity to play hence for low on confidence, low on bad bad form, run and form. Mm. Is it the hence have to do the professional job, be clinical, just get the job done on Saturday Saturday? Yeah, definitely. It's like any game you approach. Um, people say, "Oh, we're lacking in confidence." I, I even speak to the boys in the in the changing room after that. that, that we're all gutted. We're all gutted because we believe we should have come away with at least a point today. And I think any spectator was, that was watching that game today wouldn't disagree with us. Uh, what we have to do is pick ourselves up very quickly. We haven't got time to to mope around. And like I say, we'll be working hard in training on Thursday to make sure that we go into that game on Saturday in the positive uh, state of mind that we've. We've approached this game today, and hopefully, hopefully, we we you know we can put all of our good work, and 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 that will come to fruition in terms of putting the ball in the back of the net. Thank you, Gary. Cheers.